welcome to another lessons for your officer candidate uh, lesson series lesson two in this lesson we'll learn ratio unit price and scientific notation this is lesson two part two if you have the application or web subscription make sure that you practice lesson two that will cover all these examples and practice tests in the application we have a lot of practice problem and you could also take a uh, practice test to uh, to see how much you have learned and your progress so um, make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper that you could write some very important information for your uh, test prep so let's get started the first thing we'll learn is called a ratio so ratio is same as uh, fraction you are comparing the numbers a different way so you could say you could see here a ratio b equal to a over b so now let's apply this uh, concept into an example so you could see here a equal to 8 b equal to 6 so a ratio b is 8 ratio 6 whatever in the first you need to put on the top of the line that is, will be the uh, numerator and then the, the right side on will be the denominator now what you have to do you have to simplify that so ratio is the simplest form of a fraction so you have to simplify and if you divided both sides by uh, 2 you get 4 over 3 so that is 4 ratio 3 so the next thing let's do another example so x equal to 72 y equal to 48 so x ratio y gives you 48 72 ratio 48 so if you simplify that divided by 24 top and bottom you get 3 over 2 so is the fraction the ratio will be 3 ratio 2 so um, this is this is an example in here uh, you could try by yourself so um, so in it uh, you have 16 apples 20 oranges and 12 pomegranate find the following ratio so apple ratio oranges this is 4 ratio 5 oranges to pomegranates is 5 ratio 3 and then apple to orange um, apple to orange to pomegranate that is 5 sorry 4 ratio 5 ratio 3 and apple to all fruits is 1 ratio 3 so you try by yourself and uh, you you'll understand that so let's let's apply this ratio knowledge into a real problem so the ratio of girls to boy in a swimming club was 3 ratio 4 there were 42 kids how many boys and girls were there in the club so if you have a ratio so 1 ratio 2 ratio 3 ratio it doesn't matter make sure that first uh, you add the ratio so add them up okay so I did add them up that gives a 7 now what you have to do whatever you have the total numbers divided the total numbers by the summation so 42 divided by 7 gives is uh, that gives 6 so what is this 6 actually this 6 actually the multiplication factor so if you go to the previous example you see we we divided top and bottom by the same number so that is called the multiplication factor so now multiply this multiplication factor with its ratio to find the individual numbers so let's do that so 3 times 6 is 18 and 4 times 6 is 24 so hope you understand this this is another uh, practice problem pause the video and try to do by yourself make sure that you get uh, 40 and 100 in your answer let's go to another problem so the next topics is um, unit price unit value or unit price so what is unit price exactly unit price means price something of one unit so you have like a few pencil how much cost per one so there is a powerful formula that you can uh, you, you can use to solve all kind of uh, unit price type problem that is called part over whole equal part over whole so let's apply this uh, formula into an on an, an example let's do that so at a store potato chips cost $19 for 5 bags what is the price of 8 bags at the same unit price 
So use this formula and plug it in. So you could write any way you want to write, but make sure that you are consistent. If you write, you could write um, money or dollar amount on the top or bottom, it doesn't matter. So let's let's do that. So nineteen um, dollar for five bags, x dollar for eight bags. So you could write here x over eight equal nineteen over five, right? So you see here, this is a dollar sign here. So that's how we have dollar sign on the right side and left side too. And the number is in the, on the bottom. So you have number in the bottom. Make sure that you, you are consistent. If you mixed up, you'll get wrong. So now you could cross multiply that. That gives you 5x equal to 152. And solve for x divided both sides by x gives you uh, 152 divided by 5. That is 30 point 40. So the answer is $30.40 for 8 bags. So this is a um, practice problem. Pause the video and try to do that part over whole equal to part over whole. So uh, plug the value and solve it and then make sure that you get 72. So the next thing we'll learn is called scientific notation. What is scientific notation? We have like big, big numbers, right? So we, we in, in, in science, many times it's very um, handy to like write all these big number into a short form. That is called scientific notation. So in the scientific notation, what you need to do, you need to write in that form. A number and then 10 to the power some exponent. Okay, so say, say an example. So 3.2 times 10 to the power 6 or 4.6 times 10 to the power negative 6 right so now let's learn how to write the standard number into a scientific notation so say this is an uh, this is a number standard form okay so you have uh, 8265800 so how you could write this standard number into a scientific notation so the first thing you could do you could put after the first digit you could put a decimal that we did here and you could put one digit or two digit depending on your answer option okay so you could do that and then times 10 to the power you need to count after the decimal how many digits you have forget about this part so you have one two three four five six so you have 10 to the power six power so that's how you need to do so um if you have a decimal that will be exactly the same way so after the first numerical value, so you have three zero, the first numerical digit is three. So put decimal in here. So you could see here 3.3. So why 3.3? Because after um, two, if you, uh, if you um, round it uh, to nearest 10 or 100, so you could do that. But if you do uh, 3.2, it's completely fine, depending on the answer option. So after the first digit, I put the decimal, right? Now, if you have a decimal, you have to count um, right to left but if you don't have the decimal you count it from left to right so let's do that so you have one two three four so you put four and as you go uh, left side you need to put negative sign so this is how you need to make um, the decimal numbers into scientific notation so now let's learn how to make scientific notation into a standard form so you have 3 point, uh, 7.3 times 10 to the power third power. See, this is the key. So, um, uh, 10 to the power third power, that means after the, after the decimal, you, you have, you should have three digits. So, you have one, two, three. But if you don't have enough digits, what do you have to do? You have to fill out with zero. So, you have one, two, three, right here. One, two, three. So, make sure that you understand that. So um, this is another example. You try by yourself. Make sure that you you you, you get that. Okay. So six point four times ten to the negative four. You need to move um, after the six. Move one, two, three, four, and then fill out with zeros. So you should get that. So there are a few other uh, practice uh, problem. Pause the video and try by yourself. Make sure that you understand. If you get that, so you should get this answer um whatever we get here okay so um watch the video first and then practice lesson two 
on the application or web subscription um, that will give you all this homework you need to uh, practice so you could practice more on that and you could take a uh, practice test to uh, to see how much you have learned so just keep practicing it will help you a lot thank you